In part two of this lesson, I'll show you how to find the truth value from a written statement. And to do this, we'll be constructing a truth table and analyzing the sentence. The phrase we ended off with is B, and that reads, I do not order pizza, or you do not make dinner, and I order pizza. So we have two main components in this phrase. Ordering pizza is one of them. And notice that it's negated, we have do not order. I'll use an arbitrary letter to represent ordering pizza. Let's use P, just to be consistent with question A. And this do not suggests that it's negated, so I'll put a tilde symbol in front for not P. And then we have this disjunction or, which is symbolized as this V. You do not make dinner. Making dinner is another component of this sentence, of this compound statement. We'll call that Q, and it's also negated, do not. And is a conjunction, you represent it by this symbol, I order pizza. So once again, we're using the letter P here, and it's not negated, so no need for the tilde. If we combine all of these together, we end up with tilde P, or, and I'll place these two parts in brackets in parentheses. So tilde Q and P. This is what the symbolic statement should look like, whereas this is the written one. Now we have to create a truth table for this. Since we have P and Q, we use the formula 2 to the power of n to tell us the total number of combinations. 2 to the power of 2, because of the two letters, is 4. So I'll write down P and Q, those are my columns, my initial columns. And my first of four combinations is true, true. The second will be true, false. False, true, and finally false, false. The next column in our table, we have to focus on the parentheses. Notice the order is parentheses, and the last thing you work on is the arrow symbol for conditional statements. So if we look within the parentheses, we have tilde Q and P. Within that, tilde Q comes next. So we ask, is Q false? It's true here, so that's false. Is this false? It is. Is that false? No. Is that false? Yes. And now we take this as a whole. So tilde Q and P, that's our fourth column. Is tilde Q false? And because we have and, both of these need to answer yes in order for this to be a true. Is that true? It's false. So I don't even care about P. Automatically we put an F. Next we ask, is this false? We have a true here. That means it is. And this is true. Is this false? Nope. So don't worry about P because they both need to work. Once again, is this false? It is, but P isn't. Now that we finished within the parentheses, we move outside and we have tilde P. Is this P false? No. No. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We now take the whole statement and because it's separated by an or, only one of them needs to work. So starting over here, is this true? It's not. So we move to this one. Is that true? It's not. So the truth value isn't here. Is that true? It's not. However, what about this one? That is true. So that's true. Only one of them needs to work for or statements. Is that true? It is. However, that's false, but it doesn't matter. Only one needs to be true. Is that true? It is. So this doesn't even matter. These three hold true. And there you have it. Another example on how to find the truth value from a written statement.